हेलो डियर स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक टू टेंथ फिजिक्स ऑनलाइन क्लासेस अंटिल नाउ वी डिस्कस्ड अबाउट द डेरिवेशनल एंड थियोरेटिकल पार्ट ऑफ द चैप्टर इलेक्ट्रिक करंट इन दिस वीडियो आई वुड लाइक टू टीच अबाउट मैथमेटिकल प्रॉब्लम्स दैट इज रिलेटेड टू द किचॉफ्स second law it is very important for four marks in your examination let's try to focus and try to understand what is the concept i am teaching to you let's start the class look at here in the examination they will give a diagram a figure like this and they will ask question like find electric current drawn from the battery of 12 volts the last question try to find out the amount of the current that drawn from the battery power like a 12 volts we have to calculate it with the help of kirchhoff's second law it is also called as a kirchhoff's voltage law and another name kirchhoff's loop law so dear students if you observe this figure there are two loops loops nothing but individual circuits there are two circuits the group of the circuits are called loops first i will take one of the loop that is look at here this is d this is a this is b this is c so now i am going to take this loop that is d a b c d from this loop i am going to obtain this equation how how it's possible focus dear students when i start from the point d to the a there are several electric components are there one of the component is this is a resistor with 3 ohms what is the value of that resistor 3 ohms and there is a battery also with volts 12 so it is a 12 volts battery and the current flows through this line is i1 plus i2 so there are two components one of the component is resistor the resistance of the resistor is 3 ohms and another component of the electric circuit is battery its power is 12 volts then through this loop how much current is flowing s yes, i1 current as well as i2 current i1 plus i2 now i am taking this values and applying sign convention methods of electric current in the previous class we discussed about sign conventions for example just imagine this is a line i mean this is a wire if i am going means i am going through the wire i am not talking about the current i am going through this wire if my direction is in this way means i am going from this point to this point this point to this point i am going in this way means this is the direction of the loop if the current also flowing in the same direction then we will take negative value the current value is negative at the same time resistor value also negative are you clear next if current flows in direction but i am going in the, in this direction means means my loop direction is in this way i am going from this point to this point in this in this way but in that loop in that wire the current flows against to the my direction then we will take it is as a positive value as we discussed in the before as well as for the voltage when we are going from the 
negative terminal to positive terminal then the value is positive when we are going from positive terminal of the battery to negative terminal of the battery the value would be negative these are the sign conventions as we discussed in the before now i am applying that values at here look at here i am starting from the point d and moving to the down point a yeah. while i am moving there is a resistor so look at here my direction my loop direction is in this way i am going in this way as well as the current flow also in this direction are you clear so loop direction as well as current direction both are same then we will take it is as a negative value so at here the resistor value is negative so 3 ohms we will take as a negative means minus 3 as well as we are finding <laughs> voltage at here so we know already formula voltage is v equal to i into r so at here what is the current value i1 plus i2 that's why the current value is i1 plus i2 and r value is minus 3 i am writing minus 3 i1 plus i2 from the loop d a f e d there are two loops d a b c d is one of the loop and another loop is d a f e d it is another loop so from this minus 3 i1 plus i2 we obtain this value then look at here resistor over current also over then come to the point voltage what is the voltage at here 12 volts i am coming from up to down means at here negative pole to positive pole minus 2 plus so when i am going from the minus to plus then we will take the value is positive that's why plus 12 are you clear for this loop then from point a to b then b to c look at here while i am going from the b to c there is a battery as well as there is a resistor and while that current is reached to the this junction actually it is called as a node it is called as a node when the current is reached to the node point a then this current branched into two types i1 plus i2 current divide i1 current goes to in, in this direction i2 current goes to in this direction when it is reached to the junction it is a node where connecting wires are meet each other at that junction is called node so when it is reached to the node the current i1 plus i2 divide into i1 i1 goes to this side i2 goes to this side so the current flowing from the a to b and b to c is what is the current not i1 plus i2 what is the current i1 this side i2 are clear so the current flowing through this i1 so the loop direction as well as current flow direction also same so we will take i1 as a negative as well as resistor also taken as a negative so this is ohms 2 ohms and current i1 so 2 i1 so i written as a 2 i1 at here minus 2 i1 as well as look at here at this battery i am going from the positive plus to negative minus so when we are going from the positive to negative what is the value negative value that's why minus 5 volts so 5 equal to 0 why i written 0 we know well about the kirchhoff second law sum of the algebraic values of increasing and decreasing values of the current in any circuit becomes zero that is kirchhoff second law according to kirchhoff second law i written all this increasing and decreasing values of the current and voltage becomes zero this is equation 1 i will consider this is equation a this is the equation a what about equation b how we obtain so this loop is over this side loop is over then come to the this side loop so what is the loop d a f e d that is the loop so from the loop d a f e d look at here same loop direction is same and current direction also same that's why i written as a minus 3 i1 plus i2 
So battery from minus to plus, that's why written plus 12 because it goes from minus to plus. Then come to the point. Which current is flows to this side? That side I1, this side I2. So I written as I2. And what is the rest value at here? 4 ohms. So dear students, so 4 ohms as from this equation, I means I2 and R means 4. So I written as a 4 I2 equal to 0. For this is equation B. Are you clear? Yes, there is no confusion. If you know sign conventions, it is very easy to form equations like this. I hope you understand how equation A and equation B is formed. Let's come to the modification of equation A and equation B. Look at here, I am modifying this equation one like this. How? Look at here. Minus 3 into I1. Minus 3 I1. At here, there is a minus 3 I1 and at here, there is a another I1, 2 I1. This minus 3 I1 and this 2 I1 total minus 5 I1, okay? Then minus, look at here, minus 3 into I2, minus 3 I2, I written as itself. Then look at here, it is 12 and it is minus 5, 12 minus 5, 7 plus 7 equal to 0. So I modified first equation like this. Are you clear? Let's come to the second equation. I am modifying second equation like this. Look at here. Minus 3 into I1 minus 3 I1. Next. Minus 3 into I2 minus 3 I2. Look at here. There is another I2. 4 I2. This 4 I2. This minus 3 I2. Total minus 7 I2 minus 7 I2 then plus 12 equal to 0 it is the equation B modified equation like this I modified or simplified equations like this are you clear now look at here I am multiplying equation A with 3 equation B with 5 you have to remember this I am multiplying equation A with 3 and equation B with 5. By multiplying equation A with 3, we will get value. Look at here. 3 into 5 minus 15 I1. 3, 3 is 9 I2 minus 9 I2. And 3, 7 is 21 plus 21 equal to 0. This is A equation. Are you clear? Next one. Multiplying second equation with 5. 5, 3 is our 15 I1 as well as 5, 7 is our 35 I2 and 5, 12 is our 60 equal to 0. From this, look at here, minus, minus, plus. These both are minus, minus. So both are cancelled. Look at here, minus, minus, plus. So 35 I2 minus 9 I2 by subtracting 9 I2 from 35 I2, we will get 26 I2. It is actually plus 26 I2 because minus minus plus. Next come to here. At here, by subtracting 21 from 60, we will get minus 13 because plus plus minus minus 39. Minus 39. By subtracting 21 from the 60, we will get 39. The 39 value is minus because plus plus minus equal to 0 are clear then come to the point from this look at here 26 i2 as well as i am taking i am bringing this minus minus 39 to that side when this minus 39 goes to that side it will be as a plus 39 i need to find i2 so that's why i will keep i2 at here itself and i will bring 26 to that side then cancellation of the 26 and 39 it will be cancelled with 1.5. So, I2 value is 1.5 amperes. What is the I2 value? 1.5 amperes. This is the I2 value. We got I2 value. What is the current? Flow through the I2. So, 1.5 amperes. What about I1? We know I2. What about I1? To obtain I1 value, I am substituting I2 value. Look at here. 
I am substituting I2 value in the equation 1. It is the equation 1. It is the equation 2. I am substituting this in the equation 1. So by substituting in the equation 1, minus 5I1, I have written as itself. What about this? Minus 3I2. Minus 3I2, I have written itself. Plus 7, I have written itself. And 0 itself. Now I am substituting values. Minus 5I1 minus 3. And in the place of I2, what is the value of I2? 1.5. So I substituted 1.5 at here. Then plus 7 equal to 0. So minus 5I1 and 3 into 1.5. That is 4.5 plus 7 equal to 0. Are you clear? Then minus 5I1 plus by subtracting 4.5 from 7 we will get 2.5 equal to 0. So minus 5I1 equal to look at here by bringing this 2.5 to that side of the equal then we will get minus plus 2.5 converted into minus 2.5 at here minus and this minus will be cancelled. What is remaining at here? Phi I1, 2.5. So I want to find out I1. So I1 equal to 2.5 by 5. It will be cancelled 0 0.5 times. So I1 equal to 0 0.5 amperes. So we obtain two values. The I1, I1 value is 0 0.5 amperes. And I2 value is 1.5. 5 amperes so total current i equal to how much 2 amperes current drawn from the 12 volts battery this is the mathematical problem of kitchoff's voltage law in the next video i would like to explain few more sums that is related to the loop law Thanks for watching. Keep smiling. Jai Hind.